If you have recently relocated from Zimbabwe, Africa or another part of the world, you might have noticed that there is a great emphasis on politeness here in Britain. People say please, thank you, sorry a lot, like a lot. The English don't always tell you what they think and will more often than not choose their words carefully and fundamentally that is done to make you feel comfortable and welcome which is a good thing. It's just human decency and that's how people are supposed to communicate. People are supposed to be polite and to respect one another. Having said that, one thing I want us to take note of is that politeness is defined culturally. It depends on where you come from. One person's idea of being polite may not be someone else's idea of being polite. Now this is important as I continue with this video. And if you read the works of Penelope Brown and Stephen Levison, these are British social anthropologists. If you read their works, they articulate the need to have that cultural awareness, to be aware of someone's values, because it is that culture and someone's values which fulfill their desire to be accepted, to feel seen, to feel heard, and so forth. So it is important to be aware of this difference. And more so because Britain is a diverse society with people from all walks of life, from all cultural backgrounds. So there is need for us to coexist and being polite plays a key role in creating a tolerant society. And Britain is indeed a tolerant society, which is wonderful. So really, English politeness in its purest form is not about changing oneself, rather it's about embracing diversity and learning to communicate effectively across all cultures. It's learning to create that safe environment, that tolerant environment, that respectful environment for everyone. So how did I struggle with this? Now, for me to explain fully, I have to give you scenarios. The first thing I'll say about English politeness is that for me, it was a bit of a culture shock at first, even though I was coming from a place where I was already used to saying, please, thank you, sorry. I found it a bit of a challenge to be polite the English way because there is a bit of an art to it. For example, learning to say no without saying no. In Britain, you may ask someone for something. Instead of them telling you no, giving you a flat out no, they might say something like, I'll think about it, or I'm not quite sure. And because you may not understand these nuances of speaking the English way, you might actually think that actually there is a chance. They might actually give you a yes eventually because they're thinking about it. Or you may think they are not sure because that's what they said. But more often than not, they are actually saying no. It's a flat out no, but they are saying it without actually saying no. In a way, they don't want to hurt your feelings. So they are finding a polite way to say no. I don't want to do that. Or instead of saying, I don't agree with what you have said, or I don't like your presentation or whatever it is, someone might say, Hmm, that's interesting. And because that leaves room for interpretation, then it causes miscommunication. It causes misunderstandings later on down the line. Because someone, if they're not familiar with English politeness, they might go away thinking, okay, they find what I've said interesting. That word interesting leaves room for interpretation because interesting can mean different things to different people depending on how you see things. So as I said, it leaves room for interpretation and it causes miscommunication. So this is one of the challenges that people who have recently moved to the UK face. They may not understand the difference between what is being said and what those words actually mean. Another thing to know as well about English politeness is that you can be insulted politely. Someone can insult you in a polite way. And if you're a newcomer or if you're someone who has recently 
moved from your country of origin to the UK, you may not know that you've actually been insulted. It may take you a while to realize what's going on. And I'll give you another example. I've got loads of examples. Let's say you make a mistake and you know you've made a blunder. Maybe it's a serious mistake. And then you're trying to apologize for it. You go and say, oh, I'm sorry, I made a mistake. And somebody says to you, oh, no, 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 it's fine. Don't worry about it. It's okay. Don't worry about it. When you know full well that it's not okay and you're trying to make amends, you're trying to apologize, then to me it sounds as if they're dismissing my apology. So this is the difference in culture, perhaps in the way we see things. These are some of the challenges that I faced, quite frankly, when I moved here. And there are times I find as well when that politeness is used in a passive aggressive way there are times when it is weaponized not everyone does this but there are people who do this they use that english politeness as a weapon as a weapon to make you feel stupid or to feel bad about yourself especially in a situation and i've already given you an example where you're trying to apologize and to make amends and someone dismisses you like quite quickly to say oh no no it's fine it's okay it's all right don't worry about it it's okay when you know it's not okay because here I was knowing full well that I had made a mistake I had inconvenienced this person and I was trying to apologize but they were coming across as dismissive of my apology to me it didn't come across as being genuine instead of bringing comfort to me or making me feel better it made me feel worse about the situation another example as well is that there were times when i did not come across as being polite and it was because i forgot to say please thank you and at times as well it was because i did not say please and thank you as often as i should have because Again, like I said, I was coming from a background where, yes, we say please and thank you, but not as much. So because of that, as I said, I came across as being rude, intentionally rude, when actually it wasn't because of that. It was just because of those differences, because where I was coming from, yes, even though we say please and thank you and sorry, we did not say those words as much and sometimes someone might compliment you their words are coming across as polite but sometimes it's in the tone so over time of course I came to understand the nuances of English politeness how some people use it the wrong way so if you have recently relocated to the uk you may find it a bit of a challenge to understand the nuances of english politeness but over time you come to understand the difference between the words that are being used and what someone actually means you come to understand the difference because it is an art that the british have perfected again another issue is English is not everyone's first language. That language barrier plays a key role in how you portray yourself to English people. There are times when you may come across as being intentionally rude simply because your choice of words is limited. Because unless you know which words to use to rephrase your statement so as to not come across as too blunt or too rude, then you always be struggling. They will always be seeing you as someone who is rude when in actual fact you're not being rude. So it takes time for someone to get used to how the British people speak, to get used to the words that are being said, even though they are not being said. It takes time. So then what can we do about this challenge? Well, if someone has recently relocated, to be honest, there isn't much that we can do. The only thing that people who are already here can do is to just exercise patience, tolerance and understanding and just to recognize those differences in culture, just to recognize the challenges that come with language barriers because people come from all kinds of backgrounds and their level of English 
may not be that good. They may need time to become fluent and proficient in the English language. So really, there is need to understand that. And also on the part of those who don't yet understand how to speak the English way, um, I will say this or I will suggest that it is important to take the time to learn the nuances of the English language. It is important to take the time to learn English. It is crucial to take a keen and positive interest in the British culture and to assimilate into your new environment. That's the only way you can enjoy life here in the UK. So with that being said, I'm going to end my video here. As always, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you want more content like this and even subscribe, then consider subscribing. Also, don't forget to like this video, leave a comment and share. I'll see you next time. Take care.